okay <coughs> uh, today we'll start a new chapter chapter number five and the name is scalars and vectors okay so सबसे पहले स्केलर्स क्या होते हैं वेक्टर्स क्या होते हैं इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा ब्रीफ व्यू आपको बताते हैं एज फार एज स्केलर्स आर कंसर्न फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज हैं दोनों स्केलर क्वांटिटीज talk about these two it means we are talking about quantities scalar quantities the quantity quantity here scalar quantity as a quantity for example time for example if we talk about time to hame iske andar time ke andar कोई डायरेक्शन रिक्वायर्ड नहीं होती हमें सिर्फ एक नंबर चाहिए होता है फॉर एग्जांपल टेन और एक सूटेबल यूनिट यानी सेकंड इन दो चीज़ों की मदद से विद हेल्प ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स वी कैन वी कैन से अ नंबर अलॉन्ग विद अ सूटेबल यूनिट वी कैन कंप्लीटली रिप्रेजेंट दिस फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी विच इज नॉन एज टाइम and now if you talk about uh for example uh okay if you talk about mass so as all we all know mass is a quantity of matter contained in a body so example 5 gram again we can see we can see again a number with a suitable unit no direction is required so we can say the physical quantity which can be can be completely completely represented by a number and a suitable s u i t a b l okay suitable unit are called scalar quantities no direction is required Okay, so this should be no direction is required. Yeah, okay, direction is not required. Instead, we should say this direction is not. direction is not required only a number and a suitable unit complete representation of scalar quantity now if we if we talk about uh, for example we can uh, we can say uh, if we see if you are saying 10 seconds so 10 second is, is completely representing the quantity that is time and 5 gram is completely represent, representing Uh, the physical quantity which is known as mass if we talk about now if we talk about scalar quantities say scalar uh, vector quantities sorry vector quantities okay vector quantities 
vector quantity t is okay. I hope के writing समझने में it will be easier for you to to read everything. It's not very good, but it's uh, acceptable. For example, if I talk about weight or weight, we have already discussed that weight is directed towards the center of the earth. For example, 10 Newton because weight is a force. So we see here, what we see here uh, that a number with a suitable unit plus direction is needed this is specifically the case with the vector and uh, there are a lot of other examples for example velocity as a direction for example Uh, velocity as a unit of, for example, meter per second. Meter per second, okay. Uh, and force as a unit, uh, for example. Newton okay and there are a lot of examples to give but these are basically these are the uh, common examples so in uh, to represent a vector we need a unit a number first of all which is known as the magnitude which is known as the magnitude Magnitude means quantity. Quantity, magnitude. And a unit and a unit and number three is third thing which is required is direction yeah. okay so this is how we see for example if you, if you want to uh, write a vector so you, you are going to represent it with the help of direction as well for example uh, a displacement remember not distance because distance has no direction I am using the word displacement displacement means a specific direction displacement of 50 meter uh, in the direction of north for example so we see okay I better write it of uh, displacement of 50 meter north okay so we have to uh, we need to understand that there are certain things number first the magnitude then the unit meter and the direction which is north these three things are important uh, to know how the vectors are presented now how are we going to make this vector uh, i tell you about how we are going to make it okay now the color is important now a straight line uh, as see a cup straight line lagaying. okay a straight line i hope the line is straight yes it's the same uh 50 meters you can draw accordingly for example 50 meters if you say uh, 
10 meter is equal to scale if we decide a scale 10 meter is equal to 1 centimeter now we can draw it 50 meter equal to 5 centimeter so we will draw the line of 5 centimeter but uh, the direction is not true uh, we know that we make the directions uh, now okay uh, regarding directions uh, we should know there are basically there are four directions This vector, the direction of this vector is not okay. If we want to draw this vector, we need to make the right direction. Okay. So the direction is north, 50 meter. 50 meter means 10 meter means 1 centimeter. 50 meter means 5 centimeter. The magnitude of this vector is 50 meter. So we have to draw a line that is 5 centimeter long in the direction of north of course this could be measured with the help of uh, a measurement scale from here to there it should be 5 centimeter and the direction is represented by the arrow this arrow is very important because uh, we can make a line of 5 centimeter but this line does not show in which direction you are <clears throat> okay yes we do not know this could be the direction if you, uh, if you are not going to make this arrow, it is unclear whether this 5 cm or 50 meter is in the direction of north or in the direction of south. For that to be clear, we have to make an arrowhead in this way. So, if you are saying the name of this vector, it could be uh, vector uh, displacement. If you are saying this, this is vector S, we have to tell, we have to represent that this is a vector. Either we have to, uh, we have to put a bar on this letter, as S shows the displacement, and this bar is showing that this is a vector. Uh, either put a bar or simply an arrowhead. So a vector can be represented this way. This is how we represent a vector. Okay. So this is all about. In the next lecture, we'll discuss about how we can add scalars. How we can add scalars and vectors how the scalars and vectors vectors are added this would be the, this would be the topic of our next lecture